Hi everyone, this is Filan and welcome to Study Windows. And today we are going to discuss about the introduction of physical and chemical change. We see lot of people are walking, lot of people are running, lot of people are jogging in the park. Even the old people also. Why these people are doing exercise regularly? Because some fatty people want to be slim, old people want to be more stronger. So everyone wants change. What is it? It's simply, I am very fatty and I am doing very hardcore exercise. After a couple of months, I am becoming slim. So that's a change. So change is nothing but different from the original. Let us take a paper and we'll cut the paper into two pieces. See, this each piece is different from the original. And this is called change. Now we will try to understand the change. I know everybody like ice cream. Just consider I'm giving an ice cream and I'm telling you don't take it. So what will I have to do? You just take a bowl and and keep the ice cream on the bowl. Wait for some time. And after 5 minutes you will see ice cream is melted. Now if I ask you what is the change here? The solid ice cream changes into liquid ice cream. So solid changes into liquid. Here safe is changed and as well as state that was the solid is changed into liquid. We'll try to understand with some examples. We'll take some ice cubes and we'll take one empty glass and all the ice cubes we'll keep within the glass. And in the daytime we will wait for a couple of minutes and we will see that all the ice cubes is melted into water. So ice cubes changes into liquid water. So solid change into liquid. So here shape and state is changed. Shape means all ice cubes are square shaped and this water it is liquid it doesn't have any shape. And state, state means ice cube is the solid state and water is the liquid state. Now if I ask you to change from water to ice cube is it possible? Yes. Just keep the water into the fridge for a couple of hours. So this water to ice cube or ice cube to water it is temporary. And here another main thing is there are no new substance formed. This water and ice cube both are H2O. It is just in different forms. So no new substance is formed. Another one example, take a piece of paper, so we are burning the paper and this paper is burnt and it is becoming black. So this white paper change into ash. So here shape is changed and size is also changed, color is also changed and new substance formed. Now, can you make this paper from S? No, it is not possible. Another one example with change that burning a candle. Can you tell me what is happening here? Candle is made of wax. It is solid and due to the heat, some of the wax is becoming liquid. But is it possible to change from liquid to solid? Yes, just we need to cool it. So this liquid wax will be changed into solid wax. So the following observations are your shape is changed, size is changed and no new substance formed. 
whatever the liquid wax is formed that is not the new substance it is the same substance in the different state another change for burning candle so this is the hydrocarbon and we can write cxhy we will learn later on how to write hydrocarbon for simplest reason we are writing it cxhy and due to the burning we know oxygen is required so this hydrocarbon react with oxygen in the air produces water vapor and carbon dioxide gas and this water vapor and carbon dioxide both are released to the atmosphere water vapor and carbon dioxide these are the new substance formed impact for change shape take a lemon and cut into two pieces see this shape is different from the original size take a paper and cut into two pieces see this size is different from the original color we burn the paper into ash and color is different taste if we take some water and squeeze some lemon juice to the water it taste will be different state take some ice cubes and keep in the sun rays ice cube will be changed into water so state will be changed from solid to liquid temporary changing ice to water or water to ice is temporary any new substance burning candle we have seen that new substance is formed energy change is small or large for melting ice energy change is very small but burning candle energy change is large heat light sound produce or not sometimes it may produce sometimes it may not so we can say melting ice cubes burning paper melting ice creams cutting a paper burning candle these all are change characteristics if we take some ice cubes and in the presence of sunrise we will see that ice cubes will be changed into liquid water here solid ice cubes change into liquid water both are h2o so solid h2 changed into liquid h2o so only state is changed no residue is formed here and if we take some water and keep it in deep fridge that water will be changed into ice cubes so water change into ice cubes so we have seen that ice cube change into water in the presence of heat and water change into ice cubes in fridge this is a reversible process means we can change into its original state and if we take a paper and burn it we'll get ash so paper change into ash by burning it but from ash to paper we cannot make it so it is irreversible we cannot get its original form now you understand that there are two different scenarios whether any new substance is formed or not or whether it is reversible or irreversible so based on these two change is classified into two types physical change and chemical change physical change no new substance is formed and it is reversible normally chemical change new substance formed and it is irreversible if we take some water and boil it we'll see the water vapor is coming out from the water are you able to see this so this white portion these are the water vapors if we collect this water vapor this water vapor is nothing but h2o but it is in gaseous form if we cool it we can get water so no new substance is formed so it is reversible so boiling water 
is an example for physical change and chemical change I know everybody like omelette okay how we make it we take a frying pan we make it omelette from the raw egg so this raw egg to omelette it is totally change omelette is the new substance form and we cannot change from omelette to egg so it is irreversible difference between change physical change and chemical change physical change only physical change like shape size color state changes and chemical change internal structure of the substance changes no new substance form for physical change and for chemical change new substance is formed physical change is normally reversible and chemical change is irreversible we cannot take it back to the original physical change is temporary and chemical change is permanent physical change energy change is very small sometime it is negligible chemical change energy change is large physical change mass of substance remain same and chemical change mass of substance change we know the mass cannot be created nor be destroyed here change means it loses to the atmosphere heat light sound not produced for physical change but in chemical change heat light and sound may produced melting an ice cream is an example of physical change and burning candle is an example of chemical change physical change examples like melting ice cream cutting lemon dissolving salt or sugar in the water melting ice cubes chemical change examples burning matchstick rusting on iron cooking an egg baking a cake do you want to know what exactly is happening in physical change or chemical change check out our next video for detailed understanding of physical and chemical change with lots of examples and explanations thank you so much for watching our video stay tuned